In the last video. I'll kill the men who did this. Well, I actually just let them go, so um It's a bit awkward. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then well, here we are. Yeah, this is Game of Thrones, alright. And now And I think that's about it with this character. Yeah, there Ethan? we go. No, no, I'm gonna be the lord now. Shit. Well, at least I if I'm given some very important. <clears throat> Never mind. He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Uh, Ethan's reckon. fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish don't make we promises like this in this game. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Storm her to die sunset. either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And uh -oh. he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asha, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. That is true. I mean, just look at Joffrey. Do you remember when we were younger? When An we inspiration to his here? people. You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. <sighs> yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, but then you got born. changed. Roderick became so serious, oh. the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Oh, I know a lord no, has many responsibilities, like but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Well, well since you know. you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone okay, have has to killed. do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at uh, once. Quickly, sorry, on sister. your feet. Every time a sister and brother get very, like nice to each other, I get worried, especially when they're young, because in this world What's the matter? of Game of Thrones... Lord Whitehill has arrived, well. unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet well, with he Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an Talk audience that. with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. <sighs> if I were Lord... I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. Oh, I'll go. If that's what's required of me. 
Very well then. I'm not gonna be a brat. Have to step up, you know. I was gonna say, since I'm a child, if I make some really bad decisions, at least I have an excuse. In terms of leadership, I mean. So that's good. They showed up on the Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive oh, and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. I can handle this. Well said, man. Stand back. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards wait, and wait, dead wait, men wait. roll over. When I said I'm gonna handle him, I didn't exactly mean I'm gonna make him mad. What the fuck are you? You fat! Lord Ethan, is it? Nice. My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. I didn't <laughs> shake his hands. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye! And look where that got him. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roos Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. You're making and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, no. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men, and a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name, and you are the... Lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of oh, it. Not. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. You wouldn't understand. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. 
considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank, Thank you, you for, for coming. coming! Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own, that the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I think I handled that all right. I don't know. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. I guess that's the third character I'm gonna play as. Yep, there we go. I, I saw in the, the opening that there's only three characters. Oh, Although nice. just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Okay. Objective number one. Avoid Joffrey at all costs. <laughs> that's all I want. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Letters. What is this? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Sorry. Um, Asher sent me this coin, to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. This Asher seems like an intriguing character, I, I can't wait to meet him. I'm guessing I'm gonna play as him, but not in this game. very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. <laughs> Might be poisoned. <clears throat> I don't know Isn't why I said that. For me. <laughs> As I was saying, in the opening sequence, like um, when I was highlighting the episode, I only saw three highlighted characters in the background, so I'm guessing, obviously, I think it's pretty obvious that you only get to play as them. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. So you're the hostage. That's so sad. There's always that. Yeah. There has to be one hostage in the design. At least I'll see the, the Lannisters here. I'm guessing Cersei and Tyrion and the others. Hopefully not Joffrey. The Kingslayer, I don't think he's back yet at this point of the story, in the in the capital, but he comes back at some point. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Calm, answer the door. It's not Joffrey. Someone else. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. You're on the little birds. No, it's fine. Come in. Why would you send him away anyway? What's the point? That's one of Varus's kids. I'm watching you. I beg your pardon, my lady, but 
Are you alright? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you I can. I don't trust anyone. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You what is this? work for Lady call? Marjorie? Wait, what? I may be wrong. That's a bit direct. But it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady You're Marjorie so just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Don't worry, they're enemies. They appeared to be having some Trust sort me. of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I've already seen the show, don't tell me this. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. So much. Good night, my lady. So obvious, you're one of Varys' people. <laughs> Hello. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. She even has the same dress. Also, the, all the characters on the TV show are voiced by the actual real actors that are playing them in the TV series, which is very nice. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel oh. about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands Sansa. an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting <sighs> for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Well, Humor her. Cause... Tell her what she wants to hear. Considering I know how the wedding goes, I'm gonna Queen play Regent along. I don't wanna fuck it up. Us. <laughs> Awkward. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. You just described the Game of Thrones. Like the, like the actual game. Good luck. Of Thrones. Get it. Okay. I feel like I'm going to be executed or something. What the fuck? Don't need to be so dramatic. I'm just gonna say she looks good and she likes men that are not their brother. Her brother and that's it. <gasps> Tyrion's there as well. Nice. He's gonna you protect me. This. He's, he's nice. He's one of the good guys. Please don't leave Tyrion. Oh, nice, he's there. 
So she basically wants to humiliate me in public like she does in general. Ah, Lady First Marjorie. Standards. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? I'm just glad Joffrey's not With there. your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Hi. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. I'm house not Forrester kneel to you, bitch. is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new what? Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. Fuck. The Starks like were your this. liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you. If you have any Look loyalty at, at all. What a bitch! Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Okay, I, I, I'm Bolton this. I don't Bolton also care. served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. I just couldn't help myself. Sorry. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and well. they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. No, it's bad. Don't I say see. that. What Fuck. would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? <sighs> I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? I mean, like you. Why would I have to say it? Why, why do I have to answer this? What the fuck? The king, of course. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. 
never My go. sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Oh. I'd like a Take word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Let's talk about life, Tyrion. What's up? I'll walk you out. Yes, please. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drews Bolton. We only spoke Very briefly, well. but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the what? first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd. If that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she, she has did. your best interests at heart. My sister and because I she's gonna have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I trust I'll consider you. It. Now, if you'll excuse me, I, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. You can say that again. I forgot Sansa and Tyrion already married at this point. Of course. So I'm basically Sansa. What I just did. It's just typical Sansa. All over the place. It has to be done. Mira, I, know what I was I'm worried. Doing. She's just stupid. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather, rather, diff rather difficult, rather difficult. Rather laggy. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. Oh God, is I'm he here told yet? he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish. He's quite wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Depends would on the you king. Marry Joffrey, if it meant you'd become queen. <laughs> he does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. 
I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. I'm sure you'll be very happy. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Oh, she's fucking mad. Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not I a game. What you told it's me. a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mirror. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? What? People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Uh -oh. Whatever you Not wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about oh, my fuck. family. I fucked up. I trust her. Fine, let us stay. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I, don't even know. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. But I already agreed with What would you have me do? Adrian. My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. So, what just happened is... I put her in a very uncomfortable position, and then I did a deal with Tyrion behind her back. Which she won't like, apparently. So I'm doing great so far. Oh god. I'm so screwed, man. <laughs> Just a typical knight in Westeros. Seven hours. People screaming and dying. Oh no! Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> the 
Biggest villain in Game of Thrones, in my opinion. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. That's Keon. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is nope. it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh. Can I please kill him? There. No! Hear that? No, you don't hear. I know I heard something. That's buff. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. See? Running! It's not always a good idea, despite all my horror game playthroughs. Fuck you, Ramses Snow. I like how they just... <laughs> he has an improvised mobile torturing rack. Or whatever the fuck that is. Flaying rack machine thing. Okay, that, that can't be Theon since they left him back behind. Theon is back in the Dreadfort. Although, it kinda looks like him, but no, he, this guy is dead. Bloody hell! What the f- 